this video is all about forms and controls so i would like to show you how to use this calculators so you can see a wet calculator so this is going to help show you you can use in different forms so it will show you the percentage in calculation so just if i give you a brief over this if you want to have a total of this you can get a total of here and if you want to have a total of this it can give in a reverse method and if you want to have a if you want to have total of this so it works in 3d ways so i'm going to show you a simple way to start with a calculator and uh, how to in later parts it will be showing how to progress in that so if you want to start if you are a newcomer to excel then if you want to have so let me give a brief about this these two have two names in forms one is object name so in object name there should not be any characters numbers in the beginning no spaces and caption caption you can have anything so just go to developer and go to visual basics so now you can see that this is the form which i have and this is my new book for a new book i don't have form so i have to go to insert and user user form module so now you can see my form has been created so i have to have a caption i can have a caption for this so well, this is an object so i can give any name so i don't have to have spaces i have to put the underscore i cannot keep any gaps so and i can give any caption over here so the caption is user form so i can change this into that calculate So automatically it will change here. So <clears throat> now we have to draw the forms. So if you don't have this, you can just go to insert and we can have the toolbox. So this is a toolbox. So in this toolbox, we want to draw our design. So we need to have two things. So it's a simple calculator. We need to have two labels and two text boxes. So this is a I'm going to show you create label go to the tahoma this is the default to give any uh, fancy name instead of label one i can change the caption to add value this is my label value. Here there is such value underscore label. And uh, it's a bigger one, so So I would like to change this color. Okay, so we have the value button. So I'll be copying this and I will be pasting it over here. So same way, this is my label one. It has become label one now. So this is I'm going to make this as total total label. I'm going to change the color so, so something in bluish and I'm going to change the caption as total total value 
and then we need to have two text boxes so this is my text box one and I can name this as add text and the caption I don't need to have any caption so add text and I can copy this control C and I can paste this so I have two text boxes now so I can minimize this also it's a simple one I'm just showing you so the value will be zero and my text alignment will be in the right you just keep following this so you can do this it's very easy you can just practice in here and there so you can it's not a big deal just to solve fancy things so you can if you want to give me this 12 okay and uh, so this will be a total So total value also you can have some value and text element can keep in the center and Tahoma uh, which is the font name you can give some good name you can... okay so now we have mini calculator so I have to write a code for this now if you see this uh, anything it doesn't really work because there is no codes in this so i have to write a code on this this is another calculator so the cal code is like when i click this i want to have a value this multiplied by five percent watt so if you want to five percent or four percent that you can change later so i should get this as an answer so if you don't remember the names just follow the simple steps double click this keep this in tiled windows now you have click this so this value so what you want is you want this text box this is add text and this is game text box so you can just copy this control c you can be copy come here and just paste this so this is a text box so what you want is go to this area copy this this is the name of the object control c add text and multiplied by we so want five percent of the value so 0 0.05 So text box add this into this now let's see if it is working now if i make this in 10,000 now you can see it's just a minute i think we have made the wrong one it should not be 0.5 it should be 0 0.05 sorry for that and now we can check this now if i make this into any value and if i make this you can see things are changing so now if i make it around figure of hundred thousand and you can see five thousand so now this is working fine so this is a way to create a simple calculator i'm going to show you one more step that if you want to have make this bigger and if you want to have uh, a comma in all these numbers how to do that so come to this side and 0 0.05 just just expand this
okay so if you want this value double click here so the name of the text is add text so copy this control c paste it here and make this equal to format open the parenthesis and copy paste this again and make this as a format and the format will be like double quotes comma asterisk and close the parenthesis close the parenthesis here okay so now if you want to see this you can see there is a comma in that and now if you want to see the tag that and you can do for this also but i'm not going to do this so this is a percentage value so if you have 100 the percentage value is 5 so suppose if you want to change the percentage value into any value just close this go to here so now this is 0 0.5 if you want to make this is 7 percent just change here into 7 then come over here and now you do the changes 700 so you can see you can totally have a counting here so we don't need to go so in the next videos i'll be showing you how to clear button exit button how to make a total value adding and all those stuff i hope you find this video useful and i'm going to make many more videos in vat calculations gst calculations and percentage calculations and different sort of calculators so please give your feedback please give your comments please subscribe to my channel please uh, hit the bell icon and uh, please forward and share this video so many people can understand what actually is the use of the calculators so thanks for watching this happy learning and see you in the next videos